What's up guys, Matt back again with another video and today we're going to be discussing my new favorite way on how to clean your figures with the gun primer glazing solution. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. So this video was sponsored by Gun Primer Glazing Solution, I'll leave their information down in the description below, but in this video I'll be reviewing my experience utilizing their glazing solution in order to help my figures look pristine and brand new. By the way, they did not tell me to say that it's my new favorite way on how to clean figures. This is just my experience and this video will dive into why I feel this way and my experience and how I went about in cleaning them. So first of all, getting the box in the mail was kind of a treat. I don't know if any of you are like me, but I really appreciate when a box looks really sharp, very clean, and markets their product as more of a luxury item. This stuff is pretty affordable, so it's nice to see that the boxes look really nice, even when you're just getting a cleaning solution. In the past, I've used things like Windex or other things that might cause damage to the paint on your figure, so this is perfect for someone who collects a lot of anime figures like me and wants to clean them every once in a while. Coming out of the box, you have your microfiber towel, your finishing solution, and your brush. I decided to test this product out on two different figures for two different reasons, so I'll dive into those now. The first figure I decided to clean was this Kaioken x3 Goku from the Ichiban Kuji Dragon Ball EX Super Decisive Battle of the World Division. He's one of my favorite figures and I've had him for a very long time, but as you can see here, he's gotten pretty dusty even on his hair. That's where it's most noticeable. I hate it when my figures are being compared to brand new figures and they're just caked in dust. Sometimes wiping them down just isn't enough, so I wanted to make them look as good as new. I went ahead and sprayed the brush with the finishing solution, applied it gently all over the figure, wiped him down with the microfiber towel, and presto, he's good as new. I really love how Goku turned out using this solution and I'm happy with the results. Now here's one that I think is more common with a lot of us collectors. I'm using Perfect Cell in this example because he comes with a lot of glossy parts. Glossy parts on figures are notorious for gathering dust. He's got semi-perfect cell on the way later this year, so I wanted to make him look good as new next to his new brother. I did the same application with this cell. Sprayed the brush, carefully dusted him, wiped him down with a microfiber towel, and man, just look at him. You can especially notice at the top of his head that I've cleared out a lot of dust. And look at those wings, man. Brand new. Yeah, guys, I really love this solution. I think I'm going to start using it on all of my figures moving forward. That way I don't damage them with other cleaning solutions that may not take into consideration that these are well-crafted, well-painted figures. If you're interested in learning more about Gun Primer, I've put a link down in the description below as well as a pinned comment here on the video. So check out their website, see if this is something that you're into and give them a try. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.